Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm going to talk to you today about we're going to play congas. And we're going to play congas in the church. Whole different game playing congas in the church than playing with a cover band out on the streets, right? The number thing, one thing you got to remember is that all your worship is to God. And you got to be very, very careful, guys, on on the rhythms you're playing, how you're grooving, because moving in worship is worship, man. And we, we gotta remember that when we're playing. There's a lot of stuff in the churches now, it's all just like R&B, and people wanna say, well, God gave us music. Yeah, God gave us music, but he only accepts one kind of worship. <laughs> I don't care what you say, how mad you get, bro. He accepts one kind of worship. And you have really got to know as a musician the difference between funk and worship. And you can take these drums and you can make them fit into worship patterns. And you just got to be mindful on placement. Placement of the instrument. Uh, utilizing your blocks, of course, and your ch wind chimes. You know, utilize your instrument. Nobody's telling musicians not to play, not to feel the music. But there's a difference in moving people to worship or to funking, you know what I'm saying? Two different things, man. And so, I'm speaking out on it. And whether you're upset about it, I mean, that's a you problem. The thing is, man, for me and I truly believe it'll work for you as a percussionist because one time one thing about it a lot of churches don't even use percussions okay and I've played for churches and they put the mic your percussions and the, and the engineer back there turn your volume down man so you can't even be heard that's just totally disrespectful and a lot of times the percussion guy is sitting up there playing hard as he can he just want to be heard and I've experienced all kinds of things when it comes to churches and playing these. I've, I've, I've had a guy to come to me one time and tell me that my music that I was playing was devil music. <laughs> and listen, you've got to go to this thing as being a part of the rhythm section. And one of the things you want to do as being a part of that rhythm section is making sure, make sure that you get in that drummer's pocket and stay there. And where he's not, you get in there. And, and you don't have to be all over the place to do it, man. You, Because every song, I don't care what song it is that I've been playing to, I don't care what song I've been playing. There's a point in that song, those drums gonna stick out. When you got an honest engineer that's mixing that band right, because a lot of these engineers need to stop too. They're on, they're on these trips and they become arrogant with what they're doing. And people go to rehearsal every night. I believe that every musician that goes to rehearsal on that Thursday or Wednesday night or whatever night you go, that musician should be in that mix. That's why they're there. That's not that engineers to decide who's going to be in the mix. And it happens a lot in some of these big churches. I would call the name, but I ain't going to do it. If they see this, they're going to know exactly who they are. But everyone goes to rehearse to be a part of what's taking place, to prepare their hearts, to prepare the way. You know, the preparations of the heart and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. In other words, your preparation is made, but how God moves it is on him. And so if you go with an open heart and you're just listening, my number one rule is I get in that drummer's pocket, man. I stay right there. Play how you want to play. I'm just telling you, giving you some advice. Conguero to Kungero, okay? 
Because a lot of times they don't even want us up there in some of these places. No, no, true, man. They, they don't even want these drugs up there. But you come and so they put you in. But if they're going to put you in, you need to be heard. But the best way to be heard, man, is to, to really um, go in with the open heart, man, and go in to be a real strong part of that rhythm section that helps move that praise, that helps move that worship. You know, down to a tambourine. Um, I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to go over and go through. Uh, I'm Barry Elliott from B48 Productions. And we're going to do these from time to time because we got I got some things. We're doing a joint effort with New Culture. Justin Robinson is getting ready to do something. I'm not going to tell you what it is because you're not going to steal it. So uh, we're going to do something that's real big. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be taking time out there to talk to the percussionists, the congueros, and we're going to do some things, okay? Because, guys, we're going to tone this stuff down, and we're going to go in with a real hand of worship, and we're going to know the difference, that if we're going to start funking, we pull back. Music is easy to take you to another place, but when... The responsibility has been placed in your hands to be a part of the worship, man. Let's be a part of the worship. Let's be a part of the worship. I'm not going to deal with the drummer's issue because I'm not a trap drummer. I'm not a drummer. Justin would deal with drummers. I'm talking about the guys that sit behind these drums right here. And it's a... You know, so let's do something great. Let's do something great the way God wants it done. When we sit and we play for him, let's play for him. Let's genuinely play for him, okay? Y'all guys be cool. I love you, man. God bless you.